Hey guys, and happy almost Easter. Today I'm going to be doing another read aloud for a Disney sleepy time story. So, you ready? Here we go. Winnie the Pooh. Who cares? Pooh cares. One bright and cheery day in the hundred acre wood, a mama duck waited patiently for her eggs to hatch. Suddenly, Three feather fuzzy yellow ducklings poked through their spotted shells. Mama Duck greeted them with a loud and proud quack. She then led the ducklings to the pond for their first swimming lesson. But Mama Duck did not know that the one spotted duck that well, one spotted egg was left behind beneath a pile of soft green leaves. Another fuzzy yellow head poked out from the egg from the shell. The tiny duckling began to quack softly for his mama, but there was no answer. He did not know what to do, so he sat and waited and waited and waited. On this very same day in the Hundred Acre Woods, Winnie the Pooh and his best friend Piglet decided to go for a morning stroll. It wasn't long before Piglet's ears perked up. Pooh, he said, do you hear something? Pooh listened carefully. I believe I do, he answered. It sounds like flapping and rustling and quacking. Pooh parted some lilies to discover a tiny fuzzy duckling sitting there. We must find his mother, said Pooh. So the two friends gently nudged the duckling out of his nest and went to search. They went to search uh, and... And but there were no ducks in sight. There's only one thing to do now, said Pooh. We shall take him to my house. Before we do, said Piglet, this little duckling needs a name. Oh, yes, Pooh agreed. And I think you... you just named him. I did? asked Piglet. Funny, I don't remember. Little, said Pooh. That's what we'll call him, because he is so very that. Follow us, little, said Piglet with a giggle. <laughs> we are taking you to Pooh's house. At Pooh's house, the friends found a small box to make it into a comfy bed for a little. Pooh let the duckling borrow a blanket so he'd be nice and cozy. And Piglet set up a night light in case he was afraid of the dark. Then Piglet filled a saucer with water and left it next to Little's new bed. Just in case he gets thirsty, he said. The next morning, Pooh, Piglet, and Little went to visit Rabbit for the her first meal of the day. We were wondering if you might have a little something for him to eat, Pooh said. Exactly one minute later, Rabbit presented Little with a plate of tiny green beans, peas, and half a chopped tomato. Oh, look, cried Piglet, watching Little nibble away. He likes it. Of course, Rabbit said. What would you expect? I would expect you might have a little something for us as well, please, said Pooh. Rabbit returned a minute later with some honey. After breakfast, Pooh and Piglet took Little to Kanga and Roo's house. Oh boy, Mama, said Roo. I have a new friend. I'm going to teach him all my games. The first game was follow the leader. After a while, Roo moved on to play in hide and seek. Soon after, Little was in for something special, for there was nothing Roo loved more than making pies from soft, squishy mud. After a bath and a snack, Pooh, Piglet, and Little headed home and stopped to visit Owl on the day on the way. Well, bust my beak, aren't you something, pronounced Owl. Let me show you how to primp and plump those fellow, f those ye fuzzy yellow feathers of yours, dear fellow. Owl proceeded to fuss with his feathers. When Little tried to imitate him, the duckling puffed up two sizes. Poof. After saying goodbye and thanking Owl, a fuller, fluffier Little waddled home to with Winnie the Pooh. The next day, Tigger and Roo came to Pooh's house to give Little a bouncing lesson. Hoo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> cried Tigger. Let's pounce to the pound. 
to the pond and take you for a swim, little little. So little got his first lesson in bouncing, which for him was more like a long waddle followed by two quick hops. At the pond, Rue introduced Little to the most amazing creatures. Little took a ride on the back of a turtle, splashed with a playful perch, and bounced with a croaking frog. I think he likes it here, said Rue. After their swim, Tigger bounced Rue in the little home. <coughs> the next day, after a good night's sleep, Eeyore came by to show Little his home and asked Little if he could teach him how to waddle. Little nodded willingly and began to waddle around the thistle patch. Then Eeyore began to waddle too. He waddled up, he waddled back, he waddled left, he waddled right. Then he tipped over, tipped right over. I knew it was too good to last, said Eeyore. When it was time to leave, Eeyore walked Little to Pooh's house, but before long he realized that they were lost. Better sit tight and wait for somebody to come and find us, Eeyore said. Eeyore and Little nestled together and took a little nap while they waited to be found. After what seemed to be like a very long while, Pooh and Piglet found them fast asleep beneath a willow tree. Together, the friends walked and waddled home to Pooh's house. When Pooh and Piglet put Little to bed, they heard the duckling quacking in his sleep. <laughs> Listen, Pooh, said Piglet. I think he's quacking. Mama, Mama. Oh, dear, said Pooh. Perhaps it's time to try and find Little's mother again. The next day, with Kanga and Roo's help, Pooh and Piglet found Mama Duck. And after quite a lot of talking and clapping and squack and quacking, they managed to explain what happened. Soon everyone had gathered at the duck pond, and there followed a heartwarming reunion between Little and his mama. I will miss Little, Pooh said, but I am very happy that he is going to be with his family now. He knows he will always be welcomed here. The end. Well, thanks for giving this this read aloud a watch. So, hope you guys liked it, and I will see you all next time. And happy Easter. Bye.